Join Rush HD for an examination of a sport where action and reaction coexist. Where calm serenity and sheer terror intersect. I love the feeling that I got in my stomach. Put your poles over the lawn of the start house and you look down the course and it's totally quiet at that point because you're so in the zone. And you're just like, this is what I live for, man. This is it. Downhill is the extreme of extreme events in the world. Where simply hanging on melds with the ability to control the situation. When you click into your downhill skis and your Super G skis, you hear those bindings go click, click. After that click, it's on. You, in the gate, do or die. Just the actual feel of the wind on your face, it just makes you feel so alive. You're always trying to go faster. The amount of control that you have at that high speed, it's just like, it's power. Fast. Raw. Exciting. Scary. You gotta deal with fear. And when things go wrong, the ensuing chaos can be disastrous. My tips got about that far off the snow. I was going about 96 miles an hour, and that's all it took. My foot dug in. I fractured my tibia and fibula. And that's when I ripped my knee apart. My face was shattered and shoved my femur up into my hip. In the past two years, I've had eight surgeries to kind of repair all the uh, damages and whatnot. People die racing downhill in Super G. You have to love risk, and you have to love going for it. Because that's why downhill is the ultimate extreme sport. It's the story of the downhill, the ultimate extreme sport. A sport that takes a rare breed of athlete. It's an exclusive club where membership is gained only by the willingness to test the boundaries of human ability. You guys are 100% in control of being 100% out of control. If you look at downhill and the essence of downhill, it is being so stoked about living on that ragged edge, being right on that threshold where you can either be paralyzed, be dead, or be a champion. Rush HD presents The Thin Line. It's not a comfortable place. It's not a safe place. But for an elite few, it is the only place worth being.